it was maxwell who said that light or x rays they will behave as electric they will have behave as electromagnetic waves and hence by the beginning of by the beginning of 20th century that is say 1905 so during that time it was known to known that light was going to behave as electromagnetic wave and light is part of an electromagnetic spectrum then uh, there was newton second law of motion so using newton second law of motion people was people were able to locate the position and the future course of any particle that is visible to naked eye okay so but despite of presence of these uh, these things that were, that people had known but still what happens are new experiments were discovered so which were those two new there were few new experiments so those few new experiments included the black body radiation then there was photoelectric effect photoelectric effect was discovered somewhere somewhere around 1915 to 1920 in that range and einstein was able to give the explanation of years later okay roughly 1925 ad okay then there was compton effect which which were discovered so these new experiments such as black photoelectric effect compton effect then the uh, behavior of certain metals these could not be explained based on the understanding that people had at that point of time so what were the two understand repeatedly one was the light behaves as waves it is, it is an electromagnetic wave second was newton second law of motion all these put together people call it as classical mechanics okay so during that time the experiments such as black body radiation or photoelectric effect and compton effect this could not be explained by classical mechanics that's all okay next so we'll now we will see what now we'll con we'll now we'll look at the property of a black body spectrum okay yeah i take paint yes pa okay so look here so what happened certain new experiments were discovered such as photoelectric effect black body radiation compton effect so theory that was formulated by modifying the old theory in order to explain these new observations that led to the development of a new ideas which we call it as quantum mechanics okay so today what we'll do today we will study the following we will look at the black body radiation properties of black body radiation then what were the various attempts that were made to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body and how how the new idea that was put forth by max planck he was by um, how he was able to explain the black body spectrum successfully so this is this is what we are now we will go through okay so based on that certain other things came into picture so therefore now we will look at now we start with the spectrum emitted by a black body okay so therefore look here first yeah we'll move on now. okay what is a black body look here what is a black body a black body so what is a black body look here so what is the color of a leaf the color of a leaf is green okay and you can make out the color of a leaf only when light falls on it so you cannot make out or we cannot see objects in dark correct so likewise when light falls on an object we will be able to know various things about it or visualize the nature of the object okay likewise what is an object so what is the black body a black body is an object that will absorb all wavelength that is present in the incident beam when electromagnetic radiation falls on it conversely when when you heat a black body it will emit all the wavelengths that are absorbed by it hence a black body is a good absorber of radiation and is also a good emitter of radiation okay what does that mean is the following okay look here for example in our pre-university lab 
that is in chemistry lab we would have done certain uh, we would we would have done certain tests which we call as ignition test for the identification of cation and anion okay we will be we, have, we would have performed certain tests which we call it as ignition test okay what is that ignition test means look here for example i'll just tell a background and we'll move on uh, connect it to black body radiation and move on okay for example here if you take a salt which has a sodium okay for example sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate so if i take a salt containing sodium put it in a test tube and if you heat the test tube containing sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate so it will emit so if you heat it using say bunsen flame it will sodium will emit what golden yellow i'll simply write it as yellow okay on the other hand if you have a salt which contains potassium potassium is going to emit lilac lilac means it is violet color okay likewise calcium may give brick red and so on strontium may give apple green and so on okay so in all these things what you see is if a salt containing say sodium if it is heated it is going to give you yellow color it's going to give you yellow color flame or conversely if on if a, if a given salt is heated and if it gives rise to a yellow flame in the uh, yellow color flame in the uh, yellow color in the flame then you conclude that sodium is present inside the salt this we call it as what ignition test for the identification of cation and anion okay conversely likewise so this is what we have done now what did newton and kirchhoff they did no so when they took when they took so look here this is a prism this is a prism and this is white light okay so when white light was made to pass through a prism you see that white light will scatter into various colors okay violet white, white light will scatter so not scatter it we call this as dispersion it will split into various colors okay so such as violet then blue then you will have yellow then you will have yellow then you have red and so on correct so when white light was made to pass through a prism so this is red color but it is white then you see that white light was scattered into various colors now what newton observed was the following what did newton observe newton observed was look here if you if i if i pass this white light over a flame not flame over a salt which contains say sodium hydroxide okay for example if white light is passed over vapors containing sodium okay then what newton observed was all of you are with me all of you are with me people are with me b shravani people are with yes, me following sir ha ah, okay you are able to understand right yes sir okay fine then ec2 ec2 yes, ah uh, okay yes, sir look here what people observed yes great okay now what people observed was the following look here when white light was made to pass through a prism white light will split into its constituent colors okay what i have shown here now on the other hand when when white light was made to pass through vapors containing sodium for example imagine that there is a uh, there is a there is this test tube so imagine that there is a test tube inside the test tube i have sodium sodium it may be either form of a vapor or sodium solution okay so when white light was made to pass through vapors containing sodium what newton and kirchhoff observed was they found that yellow color was absent okay by this what did they conclude they conclude that sodium absorbs yellow color present in the incident beam okay so here what do you see here if i if i heat a salt containing sodium it will emit yellow color here what do you see if white light is made to pass through vapors containing sodium yellow color is absent or yellow color is absorbed by sodium therefore from this what newton and kirchhoff they formulated was this you call it as the absorption uh, i mean the absorption of 
uh, absorption of uh, radiation by matter. Okay, what did they tell us in simple words? I'll put. What did they tell us? If a if an if a particular object if it absorbs yellow color, then it is going to emit only yellow color. Okay. On the other hand, if you take sodium, sodium if it absorbs yellow color, then if you heat it, conversely, if you heat it, it is going to emit only violet color. Violet means lilac. Likewise, strontium will absorb only apple green, and it is also going to emit apple green. Okay. So, in other words, in other words, a sodium. We conclude that sodium is both an absorber of yellow color. and it is also a good emitter of yellow color sodium is an absorber of violet color and it is also a good emitter of violet color okay this is clear on the other hand on the other hand imagine that there is an object okay there is an object okay there is some object which when you when white light is passed through all the object all wavelengths are absent or absorbed then the such an object we call it as what black body what is a black body a black body is both a good absorber of radiation conversely i mean a black body is an object which is going to absorb all wavelengths present in the incident beam conversely if you heat a black body it is going to emit all the wavelengths that is absorbed okay this is this point is clear right so what is a black body a black body is an object that is what i have shown here what is a black body a black body is an object a black body is an object that is that will absorb that will absorb all wavelengths present in the incident beam or when electromagnetic waves falls on it conversely when you take a black body and if you heat it it is going to give out all the wavelengths it is it has absorbed so a black body is both a good absorber of radiation and it is also an good emitter of radiation once again i will conclude the following what is that look here sodium is a good absorber of yellow line and it is also an good emitter of yellow line so sodium will emit yellow line only when you heat it only when you perform the ignition test okay con likewise potassium is is a good absorber of lilac or violet color conversely if i heat a salt containing potassium it is going to give me lilac or violet color so what is a black body a black body is an object which is going to absorb all wavelengths that is present in the incident beam conversely when you heat a black body it will emit all the wavelengths that are absorbed by it hence what do you conclude from this we conclude that a black body is both a good absorber of radiation and it is also a good emitter of radiation therefore if you look at the spectrum emitted by a black body it will have all the wavelengths present in the incident beam okay this is clear now you will see that now we will see what is the spectrum emitted by the black body look here this discovery was made roughly between 1905 to 1910 okay in the beginning of the 20th century and these were this could not be explained based on the newton's law or the electromagnetic nature of light okay that is what we will see now okay now what is the spectrum emitted by a black body look here i'll just take this graph and i'll quickly tell look here what is the black body spectrum the spectrum emitted by a black body is following okay what is this look here if i take for example look here how many curves are there in this figure roughly some three curves are there okay therefore what are the properties of black body spectrum there are three properties of black body spectrum one is you will the spectrum emitted by a black body is nothing but what it is a set of characteristic of it gives you each curve will give you the temperature at which a the black body was maintained at a particular temperature next what happens we'll see how the intensity of radiation varies with wavelength okay for example look here if i make a plot of intensity if i make a plot of intensity i'll just call it as i as a function of wavelength okay i lambda intensity what is intensity energy per unit time oh, sorry energy per unit area therefore intensity is proportional to energy or it is proportional to square of amplitude so what was observation made was 
if you if one someone makes a plot of intensity as a function of radiation so what has been observed was look here i will use say brown color so what happens to the intensity so as the if I, if i look at only one particular curve if i just look at only one particular curve how does the intensity vary with wavelength look here the intensity is going to increase as the wavelength increases and there will be one particular wavelength where the intensity of the emitted radiation is going to be maximum and if if one goes beyond that what will happen the intensity of radiation is going to become smaller it will decrease with time sorry with decrease with wavelength okay one second i'll repeat okay what does that mean how does the intensity of radiation emitted by black body vary at a given temperature so as wavelength increases intensity of radiation will increase then there is one particular wavelength for which the intensity is going to be maximum and as the wavelength increases further the intensity of radiation is going to come down okay so for example look here mars mars is visible mars is visible to our naked eye okay but the color of the mars 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 is a planet okay mercury venus earth mars jupiter we know right the eight or nine planets of our solar system so mars that is available sorry that is if you observe mars by naked eye right mars will look red in color why is it that mars will is going to look red in color it is because for mars right the maximum emissive power is going to be red color therefore it is going to be red in color on the other hand if you observe if you observe venus venus by our naked eye okay so venus is will appear yellow in color therefore what does that mean for venus the maximum emissive the wavelength corresponding to maximum emissive power is nothing but yellow color okay this is clear no so there is one particular wavelength which is which will have maximum emissivity so that will be the color of that object when it observed from a very far off distance okay so one second i'll repeat how does the spectrum emitted by black body vary look here the spectrum emitted by black body how does it vary is so there are several properties out of that these are the two prominent ones how does the spectrum emitted by black body vary for example if i use green color so as tem as wavelength increases the intensity will increase it reaches a maximum value for one particular wavelength so when the wavelength increases beyond that point the wavelength the intensity is going to decrease further okay now this property of the black body spectrum this could not be explained by classical by the science that is known during that time which we call it as classical mechanics okay therefore we will just see what were the different attempts that were made and how come that max planck was able to explain the spectrum emitted by black body successfully so first we will look at the initial few attempts the first attempt was okay so next is what so what are properties of black body spectrum this is done next we will look at various attempts that were made to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body okay for example if i yeah okay for understand what i am telling okay so there were different people okay so one was wien so he tried to explain the spectrum emitted by black body he was not successful or rather he was only partially successful then rayleigh and jeans they came up with certain new ideas they tried to explain the spectrum emitted by black body they were also only partially able to success, uh, succeed then max planck came up with some idea and you see that max planck was able to explain the spectrum emitted by black body successfully therefore in the next 2 3 minutes we'll just see what were there what were those attempts okay wien's distribution law so what is wien's distribution law look here i'll just write it here for example if i make a spectrum emitted by a black body for example this is i already told intensity it's a plot which kind of corresponds to intensity as a function of wavelength so how does it go how does it vary it will go like this it increases and then it decreases 
and there is one particular wavelength where the intensity is going to be maximum that wavelength i'll call it as a lambda m okay we'll not worry about all this okay now look here so when what is wayne's distribution law according to wayne's distribution law so this law was able to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body only in the shorter wavelength region but not in the longer wavelength region okay what is the spectrum emitted by a black body when wins when wien try to explain this according to him he was able to explain the spectrum emitted by black body only in the shorter wavelength region but not in the longer wavelength region okay what does that mean what does that mean is for example if i try to fit okay what is red color curve it's an experimental observation if i on this graph if i superimpose the result that is predicted by wins dist by wien richard wien okay then what is that going to be okay look here roughly like this okay can you see here black color curve is what the experimental result obtained by wien okay up to this point it is fine after that it's going to be something okay one second i'll one second i'll repeat can all of you see here can all of you see here wayne's distribution law matches with the experimental curve only up to this point after this what will happen something okay can you see here after that point of if i if i look at the wavelength that is beyond lambda m i'm going to get something some curve that does not match with the experimental curve can you see here can you see i'm trying to highlight okay what does that mean what does that mean is wien's distribution law is able to explain the experimental curve or the experimental result for the black body only in this wavelength region can you see here it's able to explain only in this wavelength region but not in the higher wavelength region okay one second i'll show okay here max planck is able to explain sir not max planck riley ah. wien is able to explain the experimental curve only in the shorter wavelength region that is here in the longer wavelength region what happens experiment tells that the intensity is going to become dimmer and dimmer but max planck predicts something therefore you conclude we conclude that wien's distribution law is able to explain the experimental result for the black body spectrum only in the shorter wavelength region shorter wavelength region means this is what i am i am highlighting here okay in the shorter wavelength region but not in the higher longer wavelength region okay so that is so this was the weakness of this was the weakness of wien's distribution law next so next what we will see we will see that riley and gene riley and genes these were the two scientists who collaborated together so they tried to explain the spectrum emitted by black body so they will make some modifications Uh, they will make certain modifications of wien's distribution and they will try to explain the spectrum emitted by black body okay it is derived based on what you call maxwell's law of equipartition of energy don't worry about those things so look here now what is riley gene i'll undo all these steps i'll undo all those steps yeah so what is the moral of the story wien's distribution law was able to it matches with the experimental curve only in the shorter wavelength region that is here but not in the longer wavelength region okay next what is riley genes riley genes law they try to modify they made certain modifications in the approach made by wien and they came up with some formula which tries to explain how intensity varies with wavelength for the spectrum emitted by a black body okay here what happened in the case of wien's sorry in the case of riley genes law here what happened this law was able to explain the black body spectrum only in the longer wavelength region but not in the shorter wavelength region okay what does that mean what does that mean look here again this is the graph okay this is the graph in this graph i will show the red curve will give you the experimental result and the black curve will give you 
the result that is predicted by Rayleigh Jeans law. Okay, look here in this curve. Look here in this graph. In this graph. Okay, can you see here in this graph? I will superimpose the result that is predicted by Rayleigh Jeans law with respect to black body spectrum. We'll see whether it matches with the red curve or not. Okay, look here. Suppose I draw this. Can you see here? What is this? Black color line. Black color line is the prediction of Rayleigh Jeans law. Okay, and can you see here? The curve is going higher and higher. Okay, can you see here? Yes, sir. Okay, can you see here? The curve is now going higher and higher. Right? Can you see the curve is going higher and higher? Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean is the Rayleigh Jeans law is able to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body only in the longer wavelength region. Okay, what does that mean is the black color curve overlaps or matches with the red curve in this in this wavelength region, but not here. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? Look here. What does Rayleigh Jeans law tell is as I move towards shorter and shorter wavelength, Rayleigh Jeans law predicts that those radiation are going to become brighter and brighter. Okay, what does Rayleigh Jeans law predict? Rayleigh Jeans law predict that those radiations are going to become brighter and brighter. That is, it increases. But what does experimentals? Experimentals that as you move towards shorter wavelength region the wave the radiations are going to become dimmer and dimmer dimmer means what it decreases okay Rayleigh Jeans law predicts that if I move towards shorter wavelength region this is shorter wavelength region if I move towards shorter wavelength region Rayleigh Jeans law predicts that the shorter wavelengths are going to become brighter and brighter but experimentals that they are they will become dimmer and dimmer. So therefore, you see that Riley Jeans law is able to explain the spectrum emitted by black body only in the longer wavelength region, longer wavelength region, but not in the shorter wavelength region. This failure in the shorter wavelength region, people call it as ultraviolet catastrophe. Okay, what is ultraviolet? Ultraviolet refers to shorter wavelength region. So the failure of Rayleigh Jeans law in not explaining the spectrum emitted by black body in the shorter wavelength region, people call it as ultraviolet catastrophe. Okay, that's all. One second, I'll repeat. Look here. I'll just summarize. Okay, so what is that? There were two different people who tried to explain. One was the first attempt that was made was Wayne. The second attempt was the joint collaboration made by Rayleigh and Jean. So, Wayne's, according to Wayne's distribution law, the, the curve will match only in the shorter wavelength region, but not in the longer wavelength region. Okay. What is the prediction of Rayleigh Jeans law? Rayleigh Jeans law matches with the experimental curve only in the longer wavelength region, but in the shorter wavelength region, it predicts that the intensity will decrease, which is wrong. Okay. So, therefore, these were the two attempts that were made to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body. And these were these attempts was able to explain only partially. Okay. Wayne's distribution law holds good only in the shorter wavelength region. Rayleigh Jeans law holds good only in the longer wavelength region. Okay. Next, you see that Max Planck, he comes and he tries to modify the defects or the weakness present in Wayne's distribution law and Rayleigh Jeans law. And he comes up with a new idea and he'll try to explain and he tries to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body. Now let us see what is the next attempt, what happened to the next attempt. Okay. Max Planck. Okay. This we call it as what? Planck's radiation formula. Okay. Look here, pa. This idea of quantization of energy, it plays a very important role in signal processing. Okay. In signals. I will tell that. So first let me, uh, let us look at what is Max Planck's idea, and then we'll wind up. Okay. I suppose I copied this. Okay, Pa. Let's see ya.
I put it on the side? Okay, so I think I can expand it further. Okay, pa. just observe this. And if there is a need, I will go back to the figure. Okay, look here. Yes, sir. Okay, look here. What is Planck's radiation formula? So, Planck's he tried to modify the defects that were present in Bean and Reich Jean's laws approach. Okay, now what is Max Planck's? Look here. This law, Max Planck's law, was able to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body at all wavelength region. Okay, and Max Planck he was able to derive how intensity varies with wavelength emitted by a black body. He made use of the following two assumptions. Okay, what are the two assumptions? The two assumptions are one is a black body chamber is made up of a large number of electrical oscillators and each oscillator will vibrate with its own frequency of vibration okay next the energy possessed by an oscillator is given by en is equal to n times h nu where n is an integer that could be 0 1 2 3 etc okay look here this is the first statement. The first statement of Max Planck is a black body chamber is made up of a large number of oscillators and each oscillator has its own frequency of vibration. Okay. Look here. What does that mean? See, so all of you have seen, for example, World Cup match, World Cup cricket match. Have you seen World Cup cricket match? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. Next. So, what happens if it is in World Cup final? Okay. For example, say it is a World Cup final between England and New Zealand, or it is a World Cup final between India and Pakistan. Okay. If it is India and Pakistan, the entire 700 billion people will stay glued to the stadium. Okay. Now, what I want to tell is, if there is a, if there is a cricket match that is going on okay, i am talking about pre covid era okay pre covid 19 era so if there is a match that is happening say world of final then what do you see the entire cricket stadium will be packed with cricket fans or audience or spectators Some IPL fans. no that is what telpa you are able to hear yeah so if you have a cricket stadium if you have a cricket stadium so the first statement is the cricket stadium will be packed with audience or spectators. Okay, it will be packed with spectators. Okay, what do, what will be the what will the spectators do? The sp spectators will support their favorite team. Okay, they will support their favorite team. So therefore, in the cricket stadium, you will see there are supporters who will support England. They will also be supporters who is going to support New Zealand or India, Pakistan, whatever. Correct. Now, what is the first statement? First statement is a black body chamber is made up of a large number of electrical oscillators. Okay. And each oscillator has its own frequency of vibration. That's all. Don't worry too much. So this is a black body chamber. Black body is made up of atoms. So each atom is called as oscillator. That's all. Okay. So what is the first statement? Cricket stadium is made up of spectators and you will see some spectators will support Pakistan, some support will support India, some supporters will support South Africa, depends. Okay, so that is the first statement. Okay, what is the first statement? A black body chamber is made up of a large number of electrical oscillators and each oscillator has its own frequency of vibration. The first, uh, the first assumption tells the following. What is that? The energy possessed by an oscillator is given by E is equal to N times H nu. That's all. Okay. What is the first statement tells? The first statement of Max Planck tells that the energy of an oscillator is proportional to the frequency of the radiation that is falling on it. Okay. What does that mean? 
energy E is equal to a constant times nu. That constant he calls it as H times nu. Okay, H is nothing but Planck's constant. Okay, the energy of the oscillator generally, in general, it is given by what? E. It is a function of N. So, energy of an oscillator is given by E is a function of N. People will also write it as E subscript N. That's also fine. Okay, I thought we can write it as energy as a function of oscillator or E as a function of N. E subscript N, it also means that E is a function of N. Okay, just like how you write F of X. That is given by what? E N is equal to N times H nu. Okay, what is N? N is called as the principal quantum number, which will take the values as an integer value. Either it will be 0, 1, 2, and 3, so, so on. Okay, what is the first assumption? The first assumption is, the black body chamber is made up of a large number of oscillators and each oscillator has its own frequency of vibration. The energy of the oscillator is proportional to frequency or it is given by En is equal to N times H nu. That's all. Simple. Okay. Next. Next look here. See, suppose it is a cricket match between say uh, India and Pakistan. Okay. And Yuvaraj Singh is batting. Okay. And we all know Yuvraj Singh has has hit six sixes in the same in a, in the same over, correct? Against England in T20. Okay. Now look here. So if Yuvraj Singh hits a six, the Indian supporters will get excited, right? On the other hand, if Yuvraj Singh gets out, Indian supporters will get dejected, correct? No. Therefore, what happens? The an oscillator will uh, that is spectators. Spectators will either absorb energy or they are going to give out energy. Okay, clear. If he hits a six, you will get excited. You are going to absorb the energy. If he if Yuvraj Singh gets out, then we get depressed. So we will give out energy. Okay. So what is the second statement? Else the second statement of the second statement of the Max Planck tells that an oscillator may either absorb energy or give out energy in whatever case it may be, okay? The change in the energy is given by, it is called as delta E. Change in energy is given by delta E is equal to N times H nu or it is given by delta E is equal to H nu. That's all, okay? So these are the two assumptions made by Max Planck. One is what? This is the second assumption. What is the first assumption? First assumption is Black body chamber is made up of a large number of electrical oscillators. Just like how you see that the cricket stadium will be packed with cricket fans. If it is a high voltage match, then the second thing is what? The change in energy of the oscillator is given by delta E is equal to nu times H. Okay. With these two assumptions, Max Planck, he came up with how the intensity of radiation emitted by a black body varies with wavelength. He came up with that. He came up with a formula based on these two ideas. Okay. What is quantization? I'll tell. So what happened to Max Planck? Max Planck's idea. So when Max Planck came up with this idea, you see that Max Planck's, look here, on this curve, this is the curve, correct? On this curve, if I superimpose, the result that is predicted by Max Planck. Okay. And how does it go? It will go like this. Can you see here? Black color is what? The prediction of Max result obtained by Max Planck. And what is red color curve? Red color curve is the prediction. So I'm sorry. Red color curve is the experimental observation. Okay. Now you see that Max Planck. Okay. You see that Max Planck is able to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body in both in the longer wavelength region and the shorter wavelength region. Okay. In this figure, you see that the yellow, sorry, the black curve will coincide or match with the red curve both in the longer wavelength region and also in the shorter wavelength region. Okay. So therefore, this, so Max Planck was able to explain the spectrum emitted by a black body based on these two assumptions, this we call it as what? 
quantization of energy okay clear no what is the moral of the story moral of the story is wayne's law was not able to explain the spectrum emitted by black body it was successful only in the shorter wavelength region but not in the longer wavelength region rayleigh jeans law were able to explain the spectrum emitted by black body only in the longer wavelength region but not in the shorter wavelength region that failure people called it as ultraviolet catastrophe max planck he came up with a new idea about how energy will depend on frequency that is this and how will change in energy depend on frequency based on these two he came up with how intensity varies with he came up with a formula as how the intensity will vary with wavelength for the spectrum emitted by black body and you see what the prediction of max planck is in good agreement with the experimental finding with respect to the spectrum emitted by black body both in the shorter wavelength region and also in the longer wavelength region this revolution or this new idea or this new breakthrough people or scientists at that point of time they called it as what quantization of energy they called it 